It's boxing's biggest night of the year. A feast for fans with three world title fights and an undercard of superstars. Now it's just weeks away. It's Don King's Night of the Undisputed. This is one of the best cards. I think it's going to be a historical card that I put together because here you have seven world championship fights in one evening. You have five on the screen, seven on the scene. It's going to be a great American afternoon of festivities and fisticuffs that's going to be exciting. And after a poor year, it's a huge night for pay-per-view giant HBO. This is a crossroads fight for the pay-per-view industry. We haven't had a card this good top to bottom in years. You've got some of the best fighters and best champions in the world, two uh, champions, undisputed champions, undisputed world championship fights, former undisputed champions, future undisputed champions. It's just undisputed. So it's a great, great, exciting night. I get a smile on my face every time I think about it. The first of the night's world title fights will be between Ricardo El Matador Mayorga and Corey Spinks. Things got a little heated at the presser. This guy is incredible, but he's a bum. He, he has no skin. He, he's disrespecting the game. And I'm about to, I'm about to show the world. But he, he, he had his little time. It's time to give it up. Go back to nigga Robert. But if that wasn't enough, Dawn couldn't resist a world heavyweight bout between two former champions, John the Quiet Man Ruiz and Hasim the Rock Rackman. This guy is incredible. I'm looking forward to fighting this title, winning it, and then uh, trying to unify. At the state of the heavyweight division, uh, one champion is all we need, you know. Uh, we get we get one champion, then it ain't no doubt. This is uh, Fredo Benitez, Ray Lennon, you know what I'm saying, Duran and, and Bobby. This, this is going to be a memorable fight. Yet they could be upstaged by the colourful character that boxing has craved since those heady days. Ricardo Mayorga gatecrashed the welterweight scene with a double over Vernon Forrest. Now the Nicaraguan wild man faces Slicks and Louis Southpaw, Corey Spinks. It's another unification clash with plenty of bite. I don't understand, honestly, I'm a little bit confused how Don got me this bum that I have to fight this Saturday. That was my dream, you know what I'm saying, when I was younger, to always become a world champion. Now it's time for the ultimate dream, to become the undisputed world champion. At like middleweight Alejandro Garcia and Travis Sims, two unbeaten punches clash. And who better to spice the card up than that cocky, clever New York light welterweight. Thinks he is the IBF champion, but this, if he could pull it off, another upset would really make his name. Let's rejoin Nicky and Adam. Great world welterweight champion of former times, Felix Trinidad in the ring, awaiting Corey Spinks, who's dancing with confidence and enthusiasm. Will the jinx from the Sphinx family strike for a third time. They're still watching over in Mosul, Iraq, the American troops. 25-year-old Corey is adamant. He'll follow in the footsteps of Uncle Michael, who twice upset the great Larry Holmes, and Father Leon with his son for his big night. God, doesn't he look confident? Really does. And he's in with the, probably the most ferocious boxer, Pelper Pound in the world tonight, so, you know, it's a good thing. This is the next generation's 34th outing. He's a clever operator who's had the ability and guts to win the IBF 10 Stone 7 title in Italy and the cool composure, Nicky, to deal with his uh, weird opponent's unsavory attacks this week. There's Uncle Michael, who of course beat Larry Holmes, Father Leon, who beat the greatest, but the signs are good that he's dealing with this. Oh, he's definitely dealing with it. Look at him. It's, um, it's Tito Trinidad, the Don King, the promoter. It's a cast of thousands tonight, and what a night for Corey Spinks as they attempt to unify the welterweight world title. He dances like that in training, it's uh, a little strange. He's wearing leather boxing uh, shorts. 
and he's been wearing other boxing shorts with his name on all week. He absolutely loves the game, Corey Spinks. He believes he can derail this man, Ricardo Mayorga, and listen to the reception he will get. He has taken boxing by the stranglehold, a real live wire character. Wild, woolly, arrogant, trash talking. But uh, some people in boxing have been craving this for years. He believes in himself so much. The way he offered his chin to Vernon Forrest in the second fight and just let Forrest hit him on the chin with no effect at all shows how confident he is in his own chin and his own, own ability. And uh, it, it's an amazing spectacle what we look forward to tonight. Can Corey Spinks, who is a terrific boxer and a stylist, can he keep away from this man? You know, has he got the power to deter him? That's the question. I don't think he has, but we'll soon see. Here he comes, the hero of Manawaga in Nicaragua and his enormous entourage as they strut to the ring that he's made his own amongst the competitive welterweight division. He breaks the rules by smoking and drinking, but he's busted up the former number one, Vernon Forrest, and repeats the dose as the Spinx family try and uh, fill Corey with confidence. That's what he needs tonight, because Mayorga is the talk of the town. Love him or hate him, you listen to him. Yes, you do. And uh, he's frightening, isn't he? The whole entourage adds to the intimidation factor. Stacy McKinley just behind. He was the man that uh, was with Mike Tyson for so long. Tried to put the uh, creepers up Lennox Lewis. That backfired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did. So confident in his own ability. Taking his time to get to the ring. He was throwing out gloves, signed at the weigh-in, and there the Nicaraguan flags. They absolutely adore him. With the purse for his uh, second Vernon Forest fight, he went back to a poor area of Managua and he brought the whole place electricity. I mean, so he can't be that bad. No, he can't be. I think it's 400,000, they were saying, you know, but they just, just gave it away, more or less. An amazing thing to do. And obviously believes he's going to millions and millions more. They penciled in Sugar Shane Mosley for the middle of March. Mayorga says he will blow Corey Spinks away. Says he's a bum and he has no right to be in the same ring as him. But a word of warning, his five amateur defeats, Mayorga, were all to Southpaws. Don King has embraced him like his own. He absolutely loves Mayorga. Found a new attraction, but how long will the attraction last? Ladies and gentlemen, as has been the tradition tonight, here to kick things off from the 101st Fair Barn, U.S. Army Captain Malin Salas. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for everything. I'd like to make a shout out to all the soldiers of the 101st Airborne Division, especially the soldiers and families of the Battle of Hunters who are watching out there in the Silver Rack. Love you and miss you all. And all the super good soldiers, past, present, and future. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight you have all been waiting for. The undisputed Walter Wake Championship of the World! Men, your battle stations, this unification contest is brought to you by Don King Productions in association with Caesars Atlantic City, Bounties Atlantic City, and CMX Exchange, sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard Sr., Chairman Gerald Burnley, WBA President Hidbethko Mendoza, Supervisor of Ringside, Bob Matt, WBC President Jose Suleiman, Supervisor of Ringside, Alberto Guerra, IBA President Marion Mohammed, Supervisor at Ringside, Mahasin Scott. The three judges to sign the score of the contest on the ten points. This is Arthur Ellenson. 
Eugene Grant and John Green. And the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Tony Orlando. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's champion versus champion for the unified and undisputed Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red with white. He officially weighed in at 146 pounds. His professional record an outstanding one. 31 victories, including 11 knockouts, with only two defeats. He comes to us from St. Louis, Missouri, and he brings with him the heritage of the Sphinx Jinx. He is the IBF Welterweight Champion of the World, Corey, the next generation. His opponent across the ring. Wearing black turned to white, he officially weighs at 146 pounds. 25 victories, including 22 knockouts against three defeats with one draw. Namaste Caballeros de Managua, Nicaragua. Here is the WBA, WBC, Worldweight Champion of the World, Ricardo. Matador Mayorga! <laughs> Terrific atmosphere here in Atlantic City. So many people in the ring. They all have to get out now. The huge entourages of both fighters. It'll be down to the uh, brawling style of Ricardo Mayorga and the sweet scientist Corey Spinks who said he will paint a picture. He's the artist. Absolutely fascinating. Okay, gentlemen, you received my instructions prior to entering the ring. Therefore, I expect a clean, professional back. Protect yourselves at all times. You understand? Intriguing clash of characters, egos and styles in a matchup to unify the world welterweight crown. The WBA and WBC holder there, Ricardo Mayorga. Big punching, awkward and bullish. Tackles the IBF champion from Missouri, Corey Spinks. A careful, skillful southpaw who has looked red hot in the Bally's gym and many insiders feel he has the tools to deal with this gunslinger. Can he keep him away though? Mayorga says he will break him up in two. Well, I'll be surprised if it goes that quickly. But he's got a, a long reach to Mayorga. Box and move. The tactics from the Sphinx team of Kenny Adams and Kevin Cunningham. They know Mayorga's strengths, and they said they will not be there to receive the power. I think Sphinx has got to get a little bit of respect, though. He's going to land one or two shots early. The black trunks and black boots of uh, Ricardo Mayorga already looking for the right hand. Throws punches at different angles. And the leather trunks, as uh, Nicky pointed out earlier, of uh, Corey Spinks. That's interesting. Yeah, hot too. All right to the body from Mayorga, who's so strong and tough. And a left hook just behind the ear too from my order. Quick hands. Fast, waspish punches from the Nicaraguan who claims to smoke a packet and a half of cigarettes a day and said the longest he's been without one is seven months. I don't know how he does that, but he's all over Corey Spinks, trying to push him down, rough and tumble him. 
and gets a little word there from referee Tony Orlando. Spinks was holding on though, he's a bit annoyed at that. Got a bit closer than we thought he would this early. Right hand of Mayorga looks so open and wild at times, but has got tremendous hand speed. Look at that uppercut to the crowds, oohs and ahs, the Nicaraguan flags high around ringside. Looks so ungainly, but he's actually catching uh, Spinks with these shots. Awkwardly effective, and 22 knockouts on the slate can really bang El Mahalo. Good opener. We can see the styles straight away. You got to stay smart. You got to stay smart. Okay, you got to keep him turning. You can't stop in front of him. Hey, referee! Hey, you see what's going on, man. Kevin Cunningham saying you've got to stay smart. Was he smart enough in that first round for you? Well, he boxed to the best of his ability. I think that Mayorga, when he comes forward, these ferocious attacks from all angles, so ungainly but fast to it and uh, quite accurate, surprisingly. <laughs> And a shot on the floor. He doesn't care where or when he hits you. You shouldn't even be there for the shit. You gotta box early. You gotta box early and move early. Got a box early, says Kevin Cunningham. There's El Matador on the neck, tattooed of Ricardo Mayorga. He was arrested 11 times in his youth. Former bad boy at 106 amateur fights. And this is his 31st professional outing only lost three times Corey Spinks in fight number 34 he's lost twice a controversial decision to Michele Picarillo which he uh, righted and a loss to Antonio Diaz as well that ringsiders say could have gone either way he's talented so he's very talented and to go to Italy beat Picarillo as he did was uh, a very good achievement nothing's easy over there This the round that Mayorga has predicted. Really, really awful comments from him this week at the press conference about Corey Spinks' late mother. How he'll stamp on his belt when he wins and all sorts. But then again, he does stuff for charity and people back home in Nicaragua, maybe it is. All a big act to make him money and fame. Do you like it or not? No, I don't like it at all. But it does build up the fighter, that's for sure. And uh, this one has been really well looked forward to this week. And wouldn't have been so well looked forward to had he not acted the way he did. So, you know, there's two sides to it, of course. Psychological warfare comes to mind. Spinks has been calm behind uh, Shades for most of the week, taking no notice of Mayorga, but he has to now, and he has to watch that right hand. Good work from Spinks, in and out. What he needs is what the corner told him to do, just don't stand there. He's boxing well, getting into his rhythm. Making Mayorga look static. And making him miss quite wildly. This could just be a style to give Ricardo Mayorga absolute nightmares. Looks like a long fight. Oh, that was low. And he knew it too. Tony Orlando says keep them up. They touch gloves. There is respect now in the ring. Well, yeah, I mean, it shows a slight sign of desperation. So many big plans for Mayorga could go out of the window if he is outboxed by the slick-looking Corey Spinks. I've watched every single training session all week of Spinks, and I've been remarkably impressed by his movement, speed, and accuracy. Yeah, I'm confident in his ability too. And he's doing the second round for me so far. Oh, my ogre off 
to the bell. And again gets a warning as Spinks takes the round. Well, the corner getting really angry there as Mayorga doesn't want to sit down, doesn't want to do anything uh, that anything tell, anybody tells him. He's back with uh, Rigoberto Garibaldi as he stands in the corner. Mayorga, there was agitation there and uh, duress from both fighter and camp. Yeah, certainly at the end of the round, Mayorga tried to get through with a few late punches again. And that's frustration, he can't catch Corey Spinks. Do you think it's a good idea to be standing in between rounds? Yeah, I do actually. I, I, I like that idea. You stand in, in sparring. Nice to keep your legs free and moving. And uh, sometimes at the end of a fight, maybe if you're really tired, sit down. But there's no problem with standing. My August corner saying, work the right hand more. Or, uh, translation that he should relax, that he's too tense and upright it's certainly Corey Spinks who has uh, got into a rhythm first got to be careful of the big punches and can he keep Mayorga at bay for 12 rounds it's a long time but so far so good yeah he'll have to be superior in his fitness that's for sure because 12 rounds is a long time to stay away for somebody like Mayorga doubles up with the right hand and offers Mayorga Spinks his chin, Mayorga, as he did with Vernon Forrest in their second fight. Forrest hit him on the chin, Mayorga didn't move, but it may be the movement that does Mayorga tonight. And the southpaw stance, as you say, that could be a big factor. You feel even this early that Mayorga's got to hurt Spinks and hurt him quickly. He's got to get it, but at the moment he's not getting there. He will be attempting to engage Spinks in a terror. Can the 25-year-old from St. Louis, Missouri keep his head, keep his coolness, Box his fight and take this undisputed title. Caught again as he comes in, Mayorga tries to hit an illegal punch whilst holding. All oh, right hand there from Mayorga. Glove a little low from Spinks. Had to take that one. Again, Spinks away quickly. Just to the body there and a wry smile from Mayorga. He is one extremely tough and uh, physically fit fighter. Oh, he's got close there. Didn't hurt Spinks, but Spinks doesn't want to stand there. Rolling performance so far from Corey Spinks. Because the Americans right behind their man. Mayorga gets through with the right hand there, but just glancing blow. <laughs> Ricardo Mayorga, who has had some tuition from Emmanuel Stewart, going into this and catches Corey Spinks with a right at the end of the third. But Spinks feels this is under control, and the crowd agree with him. Well, I just about gave him that round very close. And uh, the crowd may have an influence here on the judges. You know, they're right behind their men, all the support. Don't stop in front of this motherfucker for nothing. Get your shit Kevin off. Cunningham has been very right angry with Ricardo Mayorga. Oh, you bailing week. out right or you Says bailing that, uh, out left? He thinks After Don King's a great him, promoter right? because uh, he thinks Mayorga's an awful person and he's turned him into a star. Well, that's true, that's for sure. Mayorga's got a lot more to uh, him than that ungainly star that we see there. But he's not getting through at the moment, that's for sure. He's got toughness, he's got stamina, he's got a great chin and a big punch. And there's 12 rounds in this contest and a long way to go, but for the moment, Corey Spinks 
is boxing in and out quite beautifully. Here's round number four, the black boots, black trunks of the 30-year-old from Managua, Nicaragua, who has a place in Costa Rica as well, life going well for Ricardo Mayorga. But it's the red and white boots and trunks of Corey Spinks who has the reach advantage here and the skills that are so far dictating the pace. Now, Mayorga against Forrest in their second fight was a close affair. Well, the boxing which uh, Forrest chose to do in that contest made it so. Spinks is doing better at the moment than Forrest was. Was Forrest intimidated by what Mayorga did in their first fight when he stopped him in three rounds? Forrest, who did the double over Shane Mosley. Lots of changes in the welterweight division. Antonio Margarito, the WBO champion, he's uh, waiting his turn, but this is the real deal. Corey Spinks says, trust me, trust me, it will all work out. Watch a beautiful boxing exhibition. That's what he's been saying all week. Yeah, and Mayorga, you know, there's, there's a little bit more method to his uh, work than, than it looks. He's so ungainly, but he is now and then trying to step to the outside, around the outside foot of Corey Spinks. But Spinks moves so well either way, to his left is moving beautifully. Oh, lovely combination from Spinks' head and body. Stacey McKinley up in the uh, red corner alongside us, shouting at Ricardo Mayorga. At the moment, it's a boxing lesson, lesson by Spinks. He's up against Speed, a southpaw, an intelligent boxer. They say styles make fights and styles can undo other fighters. Wait, Maybe no this punch. is the one that's gonna get Ricardo Mayorga. Oh! Big exchanges there, and Spinks had the better of it. It's the hand speed. Corey Spinks proving, despite holding the IBF title, he's real world class here. One or two doubts about whether he could uh, legitimately win this unification. Was he talented enough? At the moment, the answer is absolutely yes. Yeah, he's boxing beautifully. Mayorga misses again. He raises his hand to try and give him some sort of inspiration, but it's not going right. No, it's not going right at all. And uh, the corner will be frustrated. He's not getting close to Spinks. He's not uh, able to cut Spinks off, work him into a corner and then load. And that's what he needs to do. Maybe when Spinks gets a little slow and tires, he may have a chance, but at the moment he's just got to get lucky.